Adelaide will get a second city high school, but it won't be built where the government first promised. The Premier unveiling plans today which will see more, more suburban students studying in the CBD. It's not the current Royal Adelaide Hospital site, but by 2019, this building will be home to a thousand high school students. Well, this is a different uh, outcome, there's no doubt about that, but it's better. In the lead-up to last year's state election, the government had committed to building a second school with a health and science focus at the RAH. Instead, the Reed building, owned by UniSA, has been bought. We free up uh, a piece of land now in the old RA site, which is beneficial for us. The new school project tipped to cost 30 million more than when it was first announced. One has to ask the question, how can you spend 115 million dollars on a second-hand building? And the University of South Australia has moved some of its research effort. They have to relocate all of their research facilities to the new building on North Terrace, so that has a cost. And with the new city high school will come a new school zone as well as the existing suburbs taken in by Adelaide High, to which Prospect was recently added, there will be all or part of another 18 suburbs in the city education zone by 2019. And we'll meet a growing demand for people living in and very near the city so that we can enable the continued vibrancy of the city of Adelaide. But Walkerville residents may be left miffed, forced to switch out of the coveted Nord Moriarty zone. If they were to feed into Nord Moriarty, obviously the traffic's not going to be as bad and that has a, an amazing reputation there. And Rory McLaren is live at the Royal Adelaide Hospital site, which had originally been earmarked for the Second City High School. Now, Rory, are we any closer to knowing what the site will be used for? Brenton, both Premier Jay Weatherall and his Planning Minister John Rao today said the government would be making an announcement about the future of the site soon. The question, of course, left hanging is how soon is soon? There's been suggestions that once the public hospital moves to the other end of North Terrace, that part of this site be retained as a private facility. And even this afternoon, there's been calls from the likes of the Property Council that the redevelopment needs to be a mixed-use redevelopment, incorporating residential, retail and even retirement living. But what shape the future plans will take and when we're told about them, well, that's very much in the hands of the state government. Brenton? Wait and see, Rory. Thank you.